should put it on the home shopping network. <laughs> Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. Today is all about holes, holes, holes. We're going to drill all the holes on the front and back and top of our crankcase sump assembly. We're going to be spot drilling, drilling, boring, tapping holes today. We'll be match drilling, we'll be using the DRO. The good news is I think we're done with all the critical machining. After today, we'll, we need to hog out a little bit of material from the inside, and we need to do some cosmetic machining on the outside. So come on, let's go drill some holes. Okay, let's review the parts real quick. We've screwed the sump to the crankcase and clamped the assembly into the mill vise. This is the sump. This is the crankcase. Now there was a good reason that we took a break from the sump crankcase assembly and turned the camshaft front bearing holder and the crankcase front bearing holder. Together with the rear timing plate, the two bearing holders hold the rear timing plate into proper position. Then we use the rear timing plate to match drill four holes. When I match drill, I bring the drill down, look at it from this direction, and then look at it from this direction and see if there's any bit deflection and then fine tune the table. Now we need to be careful. There is a clearance drill and then there is a smaller drill used to drill a hole that will be tapped. Right now I've got the clearance drill, the larger drill in the chuck. I will go down and use it as a spot drill. I'll go through the clearance hole in the plate and just spot drill the crankcase with it. And then later, I will use the smaller drill to drill the hole and then tap it. If you drill the hole with this clearance bit, the hole will be too big to tap. On the other hand, if we use the smaller bit to drill the hole drilled by the clearance bit, the threaded hole will not be centered. And if you do several of them, they will be off to the point where you won't be able to screw the plate down. And when I match drill the other holes, I like to put this screw in here to hold this. There's two locations in the front crankshaft bearing holder that need to be countersunk for a flathead screw because the plate goes on top of it. Moving to the holes in the back of the crankcase sump assembly, we touch off on the crankshaft bore, then move to the two rear crankshaft bearing holder holes aligning with the vertical center. Drill and tap those then secure the bearing holder in place, and then match drill the remaining four holes. We use the DRO to drill the two holes on the bottom of the sump for the motor mount. And then I finished off the holes in the back of the crankcase, four drilled and tapped holes, and one D oil gallery hole. Let's move on to the holes in the top of the crankcase. We want to center the mill's y-axis on the crankcase bore and the x-axis in the center of the block. We clamp the crankcase in the mill vise and then touch off on the crankcase left side. That's our datum. We move over the correct distance to the center of the crankshaft. Remember this number? This was measured earlier. Then we zero the y-axis on the DRO, and now y-axis zero is aligned with the crankshaft. Then we touch off on the ends of the crankcase, setting the x-zero to the center. And now it's just a straightforward machining operation. We rough out the cylinder sleeve holes, bore them, drill and tap the four tappet guide holes, and then drill and tap the six block screws. And we're done for now. Should put it on the home shopping network. <laughs>